Hello, good morning everyone. You're welcome to my YouTube channel. Please kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel and just press the like button below and subscribe to my channel. Okay? So, I want to share something very important with you. And this is this particular message is for those of you who are planning to travel abroad maybe you travel plan to travel to Europe from Africa um, you want to travel to UK or Canada Australia whatever from Africa or from Nigeria I want to share with you five things that you must be aware of very important five things that you have to pay attention to so that you don't fall into the hands of scammers or you don't find yourself into trouble with your application. The first point here is that when you want to travel abroad, okay, you want to leave your country of origin, for example, from Nigeria, you want to go somewhere else, it has to be something you do based on very sincere, cogent, and reasonable reason. Traveling abroad is not a knee-jerk reaction, something you just wake up one morning and then the next thing you want to jump into plane travel abroad. It doesn't work that way. It has to be a deliberate plan, intentional plan with a clear strategy that you know what you are doing, that you actually understand the process that is involved in that travel you want to make. Now, I've had so many people talk about visa whatever and they seem there's a misconception about visa processes now i am not an immigration officer i have no contact with any embassy whatsoever i have no i don't know anybody that works in immigration office or consular session of any country none what i'm saying is something that you can easily observe or even find out by yourself it's not something new but maybe I'm trying to make you make sense of it all by trying to connect the dots, to draw your attention and for you to interrogate your mind towards this important point. First thing you must be aware of is beware of fake agents. I've had a lot of people say or ask this question, how much is visa? How much do I need to get a visa? And I found that question really very you know, foolish. I'm sorry. It's a foolish question because you don't buy visa. You do not buy visa. You, what you are paying for is the processing fees. People should get this in their head. You don't sell visa to anybody. People pay for the application fees. That's the processing fees because there's a lot of people who are going to look into your application, the caseworkers, the immigration officers have to evaluate your application and come to a particular decision. And those staff are being paid for that job. And they have to maintain their consular offices around the world, visa offices, and they pay for rent and all those maintenance equipment and all these things cost money. So you are paying for visa processing fees. You're not paying for the actual visa itself. There are conditions you must meet for you to have a particular type of visa. But most of you are so desperate because you want to get it now, now. That's why you don't pay attention to simple instruction of how you can apply for a visa. And then this agent that claims to have contact, and, oh, I have a contact in this embassy, I know somebody in this embassy, man, visa is guaranteed, just pay two million, just pay three million, and I'll give you visa in two weeks. Absolute nonsense. Complete badadash. These are the so-called visa agent who are going about preying on your ignorance and desperation. Because when you are desperate, you can take the desperate measures and they make a lot of mistake and they scam you and I start crying oh they scam me this agent i met my friend told me it's legit he has helped 10 people to travel outside the country i gave him two million now you're not picking my call uh, they are scam me you scam yourself because 
You are using your brain. You scam yourself. Anybody that promises you that you're gonna get a visa guarantee is a liar because nobody can guarantee you of any visa. I'm not saying you shouldn't use travel agent. There are some of them who are genuine and they will advise you based on the documentation. They can never assure you that you get a visa. No travel agent that is genuine, that knows his, his or her onions, will promise any client of 100% guarantee of a visa. They have no such authority to say so because their job is to look at your document to make sure it's properly assembled, that you completed your application form correctly, that documentation that are required for the specific visa you're applying for is standardized and is normal. And that's what is acceptable in the particular embassy or country. That's what they're there for, to check your documents, to make sure they advise you based on the information on the country website. So you don't need an agent. You can do it yourself. Just read. Google is your best friend. Take your time to understand how the process works. If you want to travel to a particular country, go to their website. They specified everything there. For example, UK, if you go to Home Office website, you see tier one, tier two, tier four, settlement visa. Every categories of visa are clearly stated. Some of you are just lazy to study, but you can spend the whole night watching movies and messing about with your time. When it matters most, you cannot pay attention to details. Go to their website, download the forms, download the application processes, print it out in hard copy, have it in your hands, and study it. Take your time to understand the processes. And you can do it yourself. If you do not have the required documents at that point in time, then wait until you have them. Don't be in a hurry. Don't go and do something nasty because you are desperate. Don't lie about anything. Take your time. Make sure you are genuinely trying to pursue that. And make sure your intentions are genuine. The caseworker will look at every case on his, on his own merit. And if you meet the requirement, they'll give you the visa. It's as simple as that. So do not fall to the hands of these scammers who promise you heaven and earth, assure you visa, that they know this person, know this person, complete nonsense, they know nobody. And you pay your money, they tell you stories upon stories, before you know it, they can't pick your calls, they block your number, and that's the money gone because you are being foolish. And I blame you for that because you could have sat down. Go and research this in yourself. In this 21st century, you can do it yourself. You can do it yourself. Of course, sometimes you need some professional guidelines, maybe immigration lawyers, if there's a specific, specific issues you want to address, a professional immigration officer who can ad advise you on what to do if you have a case with immigration. That's a different thing. But as a normal standard application, you can do it yourself. You do not need any agent to do this. If you have to use an agent, make sure you're using those who are genuine and know what they're doing. Second point, never use a fake document. Please, I advise you, do not use fake documents to apply for any visa. If you are caught, it will tarnish your record. I know in UK, if you are caught with trying to mislead the caseworker or trying to lie about your application or try to use a fake document that are not verifiable, you can be banned for 10 years. Does it worth it? Does it worth it? Think about it. If you have not met the requirement, the world is not gonna end because of you. Calm down. Take your time and get the right document. The reason why you are desperate is because your intentions are not genuine. If your intentions are genuine, you don't have to be in a hurry to travel. You take your time. When you are ready and you met the requirement according to the specific country requirement and the type of visa you want to apply for, and then you can come back. At least if they deny you based on documents, at least you know that documents are not fake. You can always come back. But if you are refused because of fake documents, you are in trouble because the record is there. That's biometric. And if you come back again, it will still show in your system 
that if you have lied before, they can't trust you. You're not going to lie again. So why would you tarnish your image because of desperation? Don't use fake documents. Some agent will advise you, don't worry, they're not going to find out complete lies. Because others are doing it and going scot-free, you think you're going to go scot-free? One day you'll be caught. Why risk it? Do not use fake documents. Rely on what is genuine. Let your intentions become genuine. So you can have a peace of mind. When you submit, submit your document to the immigration officer or any country, you can have a peace of mind that everything that you submitted are verifiable, they are authentic, they are genuine. That's the best way to do it. And if you have it correctly sent to the officers, they are very objective. If you meet the requirement, you get the visa. It's as simple as that. So don't you ever use fake documents. Number three, complete your application form correctly and carefully. A lot of you guys make a lot of mistakes. You don't even know how to fill application forms. That's always guidelines in most embassies on their website or consular offices. They will stipulate to you how you can complete their form and what every term means. Go to frequently ask questions and understand what they meant. If you're not very sure, you can actually call them or send them an email to actually elaborate. They can refer you to a link that will help you to understand more. Make sure you complete your forms correctly. Be patient. Even if it takes you three days, make sure you complete your forms with accurate information. Don't try to put the wrong information again because the moment the caseworker suspects that you are trying to mislead them by lying about your age, about your previous immigration history, they ask you, have you been denied before? You said no because they wanted to look back to you. You're in trouble. They have your data. When you do biometric, they will trace your information and they'll find out you lied in your phone. And if you, if you lied in your phone, that means you have an intention to mislead the immigration officer and you can be banned for 10 years if it's UK, for example. And this information can share within other countries because now you're not credible, you don't have integrity because you've been lying to the immigration officer. So make sure, if you're not sure of any information, cross-check. Have all your immigration documentation intact so that you, you know every date and what happened. So that if you're not sure, you can verify before you fill it in that form. Because once you fill the form and submit it, it's not binding. So make sure you complete your form correctly. Do not lie about anything. Do not lie about your previous immigration history. Say the truth where it is. Okay? If you merit it, they'll give it to you. But if you lie, it means that your integrity is questionable. And you can be denied or even banned. Number four, never change your identity. Some of you, you did one passport and because you were denied, you went to do another passport and change the different names. Stop fooling yourself. They have your data. Biometric. They can trace these things. Don't change your identity. If you have previous bad history, it's okay. It can happen. If it's genuinely your something went wrong, not because you lied, just because normal denier, that's fine. You can clear that, but don't lie because of that. Don't go and change your name because you don't want it to trace your past, past history. They're going to find out anyway. So always maintain good record that is consistent with your previous record. So never you lie about your previous history. Make sure you keep your identity the same. If they ask you an application form, have you been denied visa before? And you know this is true. Please say the truth. Don't lie about it. And they'll, sometimes they'll ask you what reason. Say what happened. If it's because of finance, because of whatever they said that you didn't have at the time, say it. That's why you're coming back because you felt you have made the requirement at this point in time. So why lying? So, generally speaking, please always make sure you are consistent with your information if you're applying for any country visa, that you understand how the process works. Take your time to read, read it, study it, understand how the process works. Don't be obsessed with the outcome. You don't buy visa, you pay for visa processing fees. Stop falling a prey to this bunch of fake agents who claim to know heaven and earth 
for the, the got no clue what they're talking about. And the only reason why they get you because you are desperate. When you are desperate, you can't think reasonably. Because your mind is visa, 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 visa. Even when you see the telltale, telltale signs of fraud, you can't spot that out because you are not focusing on those details. Your mind is just in getting the visa. And this fake agent will know when you're desperate and they'll feed you with oxygen what you want to hear. They'll feed you with promises that you want to hear. They'll feed you with exaggeration of what they can do. And then in this web of fraud and lies, they caught you are caught in it. And eventually they will dupe you and they'll do nothing about it. Your visa. And you end up targeting the visa and your money is gone. Visa is gone and they'll tarnish your record. So you can do this yourself. Study. If you want to travel to any country, take your time to first of all, take time, even if it takes you months, to understand the process and make sure you do it exactly the way it was stated. Do not fall to the hands of fake agents. You can do this yourself. If you have to use an agent, make sure they are professionally, you know, uh, professional agents that have a known address, a known contact, verifiable place you can trust them and make sure you ask questions if they are charging you for their processing you know to check your documents that's a different thing but you're not paying them for the visa they have no power to guarantee anybody any visa it's only the immigration officer that will open your documents your application and they'll look at it case by case basis and make a determination whether you are eligible to get the visa or not so be wise don't fall into the hands of fake agents. Don't lie about your previous history. Don't lie about your identity. Complete your form correctly. And finally, make sure your intentions are genuine. Don't lie to a caseworker because you're desperate. Be sincere to yourself and make sure you're ready for that journey. And make sure when you get there, you stick to the terms of your visa. Stop causing bad image to different countries because of your bad conduct. In my next video, I'm going to talk about how you can behave in a foreign country as a foreign citizen. I hope this information will help you to rethink about these things so you don't fall into the hands of bad people who are going to eat your money and put your history at stake. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and like, you know, press the like button and then please keep supporting me. I appreciate all my fans, those who are subscribe already please subscribe to my youtube channel drop your comment or questions and then like press the like button i appreciate all you I appreciate you all and thank you so much for watching this video this youtube and please keep watching my other you know, video as well on youtube thank you so much and good morning from here i'm actually in the city of vienna currently and it's a lovely city beautiful nice tidy and clean thank you guys and bye.